What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Um, there's a brand new product research method that I just saw and that I just started using and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. This product research method is finding me amazing winning home run products. Um, seriously, there's still home run products out there, believe it or not, in minutes and not spending weeks or months to find these products. So I wanna share with all of you guys today what this product research method is, how it's brand new and not a lot of people know about it yet, which makes it perfect for us to start finding amazing products and launching them and making money on Amazon. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back to those of you who are all my subscribers. My name is Brian Noonan. I'm a full-time Amazon FB seller and mentor. Right here on my YouTube channel, I release one to two new videos every single week covering everything Amazon FBA related, uh, investing, entrepreneurship. If you enjoy that type of content, please do me a favor and head on down right below the video and uh, give me a like on this video, the thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Drop a comment and you'll be automatically entered to win a 30-minute coaching call with me. I give away two 30-minute calls every single video to two lucky winners. My job right here on this channel is to help educate, teach, impact as many lives as possible, sharing my journey of how I went from a struggling drug addict six years ago all the way to a full-time entrepreneur and Amazon seller earning six figures per year online. Okay, without any other delays or more introduction, let's jump into my computer right now so I can share with you this product research method, which is just amazing. Coming up right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm just trying What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, welcome inside my computer. Super excited to share this video with you. So a couple of weeks ago, I had noticed an email from Helium 10 or a webinar that they were sharing um, about a new features or new little filters that we could uh, enter inside of Black Box. Now, I didn't uh, necessarily take action when I first saw those new features. I thought, okay, they're adding a couple new features or um, a new tool. But I looked into it today and I'm just blown away by the products I'm finding, how quickly, and just how I know for sure these products would make money. So let me show you what this is. So I'm inside Helium 10 black box. If you guys don't have any product research software, Helium 10 is the best. Go ahead and pick that up with the 50% off discount code down below. It'll make it only $48 for one month for you with Noonan 50. And that will give you access to the platinum plan, which is all you need for at least one month to find success successful products and uh, get your listing well optimized, get all the uh, other tools like follow up email sequences, inventory control, and all of that. I'm inside black box guys, we're gonna go to product research and then black box. Then the next step, we're gonna go to the keywords tab. Then down below, minimum search volume. We want a minimum of 3,000 people per month searching for our products. Uh, monthly revenue, minimum 6,000, no max. Price, 20 to 120. I found selling products over $50 myself. I make the most profits and I have the most profit margin left over for marketing and PPC and uh, fees. Review count, I'm going to do a max since this is a whole category or a whole niche of product ideas and not just individual products, uh, one product by one product, since we're under the keywords tab of max 221. And then guys, here are the uh, categories I selected. So I've found these categories have made me the most money on Amazon and are doing the best right now. Arts, crafts and sewing, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen and dining, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement. Then right here guys, exclude keywords. I exclude these keywords. I personally do not like to sell and don't want to sell masks, sanitizers, towels, pillows, rugs, and I would also probably put in here um, Halloween and decorations because we're in October right now and I see a lot of that coming up. Best sellers rank. I did a max of 100,000. Uh, any product that has a best sellers rank over 100,000, it could signal that there's not enough demand for the product or that the product is seasonal. Number of sellers, I did a max of 1,000 here, and number of competing products, a max of 1,000 other competing products. Um, and then next, guys, I'm gonna do a monthly sales units minimum of 300, no max. And then here is where the real magic happens. 
Right here, revenue of competitors, more than $5,000 on five or more of the top listings on page one. Reviews, max less than 150 reviews for five or more of the top competitors. Rating, what we're gonna do here is 4.25 reviews or less on two or three. This means that there's a couple sellers making over $5,000 on page one with under 150 reviews and the rating is four or below, which tells me there's room for innovation and room to differentiate the product and come in with a superior product and take market share. Um, and then I'm just gonna press search guys. Then we're gonna go down below here and I'm looking for a couple of things when I come down here. I'm looking for the name of the product. I don't want to sell anything like uh, paintball guns or lighting because they're restricted. Um, you know, different products. I'm not. I'm looking to make sure the product is not restricted. Um, I'm making sure the product is not seasonal from what it sounds like. Um, and so event calendar for 2020. Obviously, customers only need to buy that one time a year. So I would pass over that one. Um, but here's what I look at monthly revenue um, and then the reviews those are really the important ones and then price of course but let me show you the first one so goalkeeper gloves is for soccer uh, mostly an outdoor sport so we're going into winter so I wouldn't do that balance beam is a small oversized product so I skipped over that uh, scent for hunting hunting is a seasonal type of product autumn is a seasonal type of product plubotomy practice kit is a blood drawing uh, sort of medical practice kit and it could be considered a medical device so for now I'll skip over it but I may come back and look at it and you're welcome to as well holiday projector is seasonal hazmat suits is sort of related to COVID not really so I may look at it pumpkins is seasonal pompous grass is interesting golf nets for backyard holiday light is for outdoors and seasonal disposable gowns I'm gonna skip that it's related to COVID a helmet is sort of, you know, only going to sell well during um, uh, the football season. But if we come down here, there was um, one that really stuck out. And let me show you what it was. It was this Boho Chandelier. And I need to make sure that this product is not a, li a lighting product, but I think it's a decor product. Um, and if it is considered a lighting product, you could probably get uh, approval to sell this relatively easily by just submitting photos of your uh, of your product or filling out a hazmat um, a hazmat form, letting Amazon know your product's safe. And look at this. The only problem I can find with this product is that there's quite a few Amazon, but there's also many FBA sellers here making really good money. So here we go, guys. You can see 10 out of 10 of the top listings are over $5,000, which is amazing. Um, nine of the top um, 10 products have 200 reviews or less. If I click on related keywords, very high demand, very low competition for all of the keywords, which is amazing. Um, and then if we go down here, you can see that there's several on page one that are just doing amazing numbers. 92 reviews takes about three months doing 15 grand 124 reviews takes about five to seven months doing forty two thousand dollars a month 71 reviews takes about three months doing eleven thousand 32 reviews doing ten thousand takes about a month 128 reviews doing thirteen thousand amazing amazing numbers guys it continues to get better even way down here on page two um the revenue stays strong which is a good indicator uh, total revenue for the niche is over quarter of a million and that's what I like to see and the search volume is over 3,000 for this keyword so this is an amazing product research method you can play around with those filters I gave you so if I take out the 300 minimum um, if I choose maybe a different category here I would probably get different uh, different products but you can play around with those filters and uh, these ones I would keep for sure, minimum 3,000, minimum 6,000, price 20 to 120, max review count 220 roughly. Um, and then let's do another search here. I just, only thing I did differently is let's take out this uh, review, a uh, rating. Let's take out the rating and uh, take out the minimum 300 sales per month. Because obviously it's nice if the top sellers are all doing 300 sales or more, usually, but if you see, this product sells for over $60 and higher. So you only need to sell half of that, uh, like 100 or 150, 
to make $3,000 a month in profit or more at $10 profit per unit or more. So that would be okay that the top sellers here are not all doing 300 sales or more per month. If we come back in here, guys, we can see um, if, if anything else sticks out. A gamble, I'm not sure what that is. Compound bow, exit sign with emergency lights. Um, we can open that one up, view on Amazon. 86 reviews is the average. And let's run x-ray on this to see how it looks. I'm so excited for this. I also, guys, the first thing I look at in the top left is the total results. 280 total results. Usually you can take half of that number, and that's about how many other sellers there are. So 150 other sellers is very, very low, versus if you typed in like um, uh, sheets, you're looking at over 100,000 other sellers. So let's run x-ray on this one together, and let me see what you guys think and uh, what I think of it. This is an exit sign with emergency lights. Okay, our search volume is over 3,000, which is good. Uh, it's in tools and home improvement, which is a good category. We just have to make sure that it's not considered a restricted product. I don't know if it plugs into the wall or if it's battery operated. But again, guys, a home run product. All the reviews are 150 or less. The revenues are almost all over $5,000. They're all making great sales. The price is consistent over $30 on almost all of them. There's many, a couple FBA sellers here doing extremely well, like especially this one, seven reviews doing $12,000, 44 reviews doing $15,000, um, and then the weight, mostly all under five pounds and not all considered oversized. And then another huge tip I'll give you is look at the listing, listing creation dates. If you come over here on the far right and notice that most of these uh, listings were created in 2020, it could tell you that that product is getting oversaturated. If all, most of these half or more are 2020 listing creation date, that could give you a sign that um, it's quickly becoming oversaturated and competitive because everyone's jumping into it. So that guys is the product research um, method that just blew me away. I would continue going through here and looking up different products because this is a winning product research method. I just can't believe I've never been able to put in like um, those filters like that and be and got and got so many awesome um, product research ideas so quickly. Here's another one: screen printing kit, view on Amazon, and we'll run X-ray. 652 other. Uh, sellers or 652 total results so roughly 300 or so other sellers 350 and uh, we'll run x-ray on this one together and you guys are welcome to go and start using this method where inside of black box we're going to put in um, those filters that are just brand new for the black box reviews uh, max reviews or minimum 150 or less reviews in the top sellers the top seller is doing $5,000 or more in, in revenue. And here's another winning product, guys. Arts, Crafts, and Sewing. It's a great um, category. No restrictions. You can see they're all doing $5,000 or more on the top spots here, except for this one that's brand new. And eight out of the top 10 listings have over $5,000 in revenue. Seven of the top 10 have under 200 reviews. Um, and the search volume is high, 22,000 people per month searching this product. It's another awesome product, guys. So I wanted to just jump on and share this video with you guys, this awesome new product research method I'm so excited about. I'm gonna continue doing product research and I hope that you'll use this too. And drop me any comments down below in the video comment section if you guys um, have any questions about this method or a certain filter you saw me use in this video and uh, I'll make sure to answer those personally. Make sure to also join the Amazon FBA Gladiators Facebook group down there. I'm in that Facebook group every single day helping people, helping students, helping anyone that's part of that group and answering questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it and uh, I'll see you on the next video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your friend. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel.